and welcome to another update video. This time we're going to be looking at the general things that have been happening here at Otto Robotics. Before we get started with the video, these squishies have came in and they're really satisfying. This is probably why this video has taken much longer to record than normal. Okay, on to the serious stuff. Here we have the new roof for our boat. We've recently tensoled it and got the P8s on the sides there. We've also managed to make the Otter Robotics logo stand out really well by putting white oil pastel into the engraving, which works very similar to the whiteboard trick you've seen before. Sadly, we have noticed the floor with the floor, because this is where we put our circuit board in, and it just doesn't fit. The second thing we're going to talk about is our magnetic key system for the boat, which you may or may not have heard about. They work by employing these little tiny magnetic reed switches. Let's take a look at how they work. They come in a little glass package with what looks like two bits of metal inside. If we connect up some crocodile wires and a circuit, we'll see that this can act as a switch. So, got a meter on volts and a power supply that we're going to plug in this special board into. And then let's clip two sides of this contraption to the switch. Okay, now let's plug in the power. There we go. And let's get out one of our prototype magnetic keys. Here we go. This one, which has a magnet in it already. And let's wave it near this. And you'll see a reading on the meter telling you the voltage that is coming from the power supply. So. Just like a normal switch, it will start and stop the current flow. But unlike a normal switch, this is activated by a magnet, which is how the entire system is based around. The way this system works is we have this blue thing, which sits on the deck. This is the new deck we've just cut. And then this switch, which we just looked at, goes underneath like that. Once glued on there, we'll be able to simply get our magnetic key cards and place them in like this, which will activate a relay and turn on the entire boat. I mentioned that the card you just saw was a prototype, so the new cards work in a similar way. We have two pieces of plastic which just need to be stuck together and the magnet inside them is one of these little ball magnets. To make the magnetic key cards we also laser cut a template which helps us know where to drill especially on these ones where there is no center marked and what we need to do is simply make a divot where the ball can fit in we do the same thing on the top half and the divots We'll then line up and the ball will be able to fit in nicely. So that's 
the key system for the boat. Now we're going to be doing the fun part, testing the boat, which looks something like this. It's time to fill up the box. Our first test of the motors is going to be running them in air. We've connected them up to our 3 volt supply. And this is controlled by this switch. So, shall we do it? It's the moment of truth. 3, 2, 1. Ooh, it's like one of them is going. Oh, there you go. Just as dodgy as switch. That looks perfect. Here we go. Let's get it into the water and dun, dun, find dun, out dun, 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 dun. whether the added weight and whether any water's going to get in. Okay, so lowering it in. It's in the water, dangerously leaning to one side. So, so quite, and it does look quite lopsided. So let's try and resurrect that by grabbing a few batteries to replicate the cell's location. You can see the boat's unbalanced at the moment, but to make it a bit more real, let's add battery. Oh no. The other two magnetic keycard parts, which will hopefully add a little bit of weight. The bomb, and then, of course, the roof. Now first, oh, dropping everything. No, I'll just do that. I'm gonna let go of it, let go of it, let go of the back and just do it two times, two handed. Perfect. Now we're gonna turn the bilge pump on as the boat has got a bit of water. So let's turn it on. Out comes some water. Now the water's quite bubbly because one of all the glue that we've used from when we've been sealing team, and two because not much water gets in, so most of the water gets turned into froth. So we're going to leave that on. And now, if we push this back, the most important test, do the motor spin? That's satisfying. And if we push it back... Let's let go. Oh yes, those motors are amazing. I think we successfully made a bubble bar. We've got nice little froth coming out here, and we've got the big choppers. <laughs> I think this is successful. If you did like this video, please drop a like, subscribe and turn on the notification button. If you have any other opinions on our video, please leave a comment. Thank you from all of us at Otter Robotics. Goodbye! Goodbye.